Yo, I don't click nodes, I click results. Metric X don't ask, it delivers bolts. One tap metal looking violent, edgeware cutting like silence. Dirt, we place it, gloss, we own it. I don't run a rap, I just zone it. UVs cry when I pull up the pack. Slider so clean, it'll punch through black. You think this is blender? Nah, this is warp. Hang out, English shares, you so complain. Metric X building what plugins fear. Drop it on mesh, make detail up here. Steel so cold, the viewport shivers. Roughness tight, color hits like triggers. You tweaking knobs, I'm pulling off looks. My render folder reads like art books. Forget rock slows, forget pain. This ain't a tool, this is the vein. One click field drip, it ain't rock. Metric X dumb, make metric X just fucks. Yo folks, this is Jack and in this video, I'm going to talk about our add-on matrix. It is a quick and powerful way to add realistic, customizable materials made specifically for hot surface modeling. I'll walk you through exactly how to use it, show you all the features and break down why it's a game changer for a fast and efficient workflow. Let's get into it. Alright, to download the add-on, just scroll down to this description and click the first link It'll take you straight to my Gumroad page. Right now, Matrix is available on Gumroad. But yeah, it's dropping on Blender Market so soon. But honestly, that doesn't really matter. What matters is how fast the things can level up your workflow. From there, choose your price. Sign in your account and download the zip file. Once you've got it, open Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-on, hit the Install button. And select the zip file you just download. And that's how easy to install. Once you successfully install Matrix add-on into your Blender, you can press the N key to open up the side panel and from here you can see an option called Matrix. So click on it, it will open up the Matrix add-on menu. So let's see what are all the material this add-on offers. So first, in the material type, you can just click on it and it will open up the drop-down menu. So And from here you can see that we have metal, special metal, and plastic, wood, glass, emission, and rubber. So it's offer customizable and pre-made materials. In just a one click, you can add it to your model. But before we exploring about this add-on deep, let me talk about why this add-on is so important. Back in my times, I was struggling with adding materials. Let's be real. Even when you have a realistic good model, if you're choosing the wrong materials, it will totally ruin your artwork because Materials are going to give your model a realistic feel. If you have a funky ice cream materials, your artwork has totally become a disaster. Back in my times, I was looking for a realistic material to apply to my model, but the problem is, most of them from the internet are low quality. And even when you find a good one, it requires EV and wrapping. So I was like using the add-on which is called a leather kit, and I searched for a material and applied to my model. But the problem is, most of them are image texture so it requires UV and wrapping to properly align the texture to my model. It is okay if the model is simple just like a regular model but when it comes to like advanced model it takes a day to UV and wrapping properly and that's totally feeling so frustrating. So then I was just shifted from shading nodes so I just plug in nodes and create my own shader but the problem is I can't create a realistic node. Because creating realistic material from scratch, it takes a lot of time and you have to plug in different nodes to see which one works. And unfortunately, you can't find the right tutorial to add the material you want. And also, plugging with nodes is really confusing because there are plenty of nodes out there like mapping node, a map range node, vector node, war node node. So each node having a certain behavior. So to understanding all of them, it requires time and a lot of effort. I was like wondering about how it would be like if an add-on that could solve this problem. In just a one click, it will add a realistic material to my model so that I have more time to focus on my modeling rather than relying on the right materials. So as a result, I was built this add-on. Over the past two months, I've been using this add-on and it's totally saving a lot of time. So I have more time to focusing on my model. So I started learning about concept art, learning about functionality and if you just look at my recent project, I was modeling a spaceship, which was absolutely insane. So I have learned a lot of skill. I was just learning a lot of things when I skipped uh, the time I was just wasting on adding the right materials. So, so that is the reason I would just like to share this add-on to you. Because most of them will be struggling with finding the right materials and wasting your hours on 
UV unwrapping and node setup and so on. So you don't really have to worry about all that. Yeah, I think that this add-on will help you to save a lot of time. That is the reason we have just built this add-on. So now let's talk about how this add-on is function. So first, let me just go to the shading mode to see how the material is applied. So I press the N key to open up the side panel. And this add-on is very simple. All you have to do is to choose the material. First, I choose the material type. It's slightly set up to none. So I choose something metal. From here, you can choose the base color. So I have to choose the color. So I, I would like to choose something like a bluish, a dark bluish. I think and if you want you can just adjust the roughness if you need but I don't really want to do it right now I just want to preview how it looks so I just click on generate so now you can see that it add a blue metal but when you go to the cycle engine that's where the magic starts unlike a regular BSTF materials you'll notice that the corners are having a subtle bevel the reason we are adding a some small level of bevel to the corner edges is because like in I already said in I say this many times in my video, but in real world object, all the objects have certain level of bevel. So that's what makes it look realistic. When you're having a really sharp edges with zero bevel, it's gonna create a artificial and fake look. So we added a small bevel to the entire material system so that your model is not gonna look so artificial. Even though you, you don't really require to add a bevel to your model because this material just offers the bevel, so you don't really worry about all that. Now Let's see what all this add-on offers. So below the base color, you have an option called metal type. From here, you have three options, steel, dark steel, and dark shiny. So these three materials are uh, pre-made materials, meaning that it's created with a lot of nodes and you don't really have to change any settings because this is more realistic. And if you want a real steel effect, you can just select your material type and just click on generate. It will add a realistic material to your model. Very simple. And also, we have a lot of customization so if you want to adjust the roughness you can just go down and just you can just adjust the roughness how much you want just like a regular bstf shader we have all those options but the magic is at the bottom so you have an option called imperfection at the bottom so imperfection because in a real world object all the just look at your surrounding all the metals and plastic each of them have a, some sort of a imperfection whether it could be edge wear it could be a dirt or it's going to be rust so imperfection what gonna makes your model looks realistic. That is the reason we added this type. So I have two options. Let me just choose edgeware and see how it looks. First, when I select edgeware, it asks me the color. So I can choose the color I want. For this blue metal, I'm gonna choose a maybe a black. Black would be fine. And if I click on generate, this will add the edgeware to the corners of the model. So how this edgeware is work is by it is calculating the bevel from your model so under the edgeware color you can have an option called spread by increasing the value it will uh, spreading those edgewares so much but typically i would tell that the value between 0.2 to 0.9 works best most cases but but if you want you can adjust it to your preferences and i want to say one thing to you if you like to scale your object like SZ and you can just scale it something like this and when you press the N key and go to the item tab you'll notice that your scale value is be changed so this could be problematic because when you apply an edgeware without applying the scale or resetting the value the edgeware might be not working properly let me just scale down the Y also so that we can see uh, when you rotate it now you can see that it's totally became black because it can't calculate the edgeware. To fix this, you can see an option under the edgeware called fix my edgeware. So when you click on this, it will apply all the rotation and scale to your object. So whenever time you're facing an error with this edgeware, you can just come here and click on this fix edgeware, which will automatically apply the scale and rotation. So next imperfection we have, which is called dust, maybe a dirt. So anyway. So this will add some extra layer of some noises to your model. So let me show how it works. So you have to choose a color. I'm choosing something reddish, a dark red. And if I click on generate, so this will add some, uh, some somewhat like a dirt or dust to your model. 
so this is really useful and you can also adjust the location of your noises or your imperfections for example you can adjust specifically on the x-axis and y and z or you can just left click and drag to adjust the values simultaneously and we also have an option called scale so if you want your dirt imperfection to be really tiny and spread all over the model you can come here and you can set the scale to one or something so the more you scale the more smaller the texture would be and if you want your texture to be bigger you can also scale it down so this one makes the texture looks appear more big and also you have an option called roughness so if you want that dust and the dirt imperfections to be shiny you can adjust the size and if you want the dust and dirt to be really rough and no, no reflection you can adjust it to one so now let's talk about plastic so i just choose a plastic and so just like a metal plastic also have the same menus and the same imperfections the only difference is that that is a metal this is a plastic that's the only difference so you can come here and you can choose any color you want and you can choose any imperfection if you like and just click on generate and that's the easiest way to apply edge waves and plastic material to your model and you can see an option under the color which is called roughness just like a metal you can adjust the roughness how much you want and you have a new option which is called glossiness so in a plastic if you want to convert your plastic into a shiny you can just come here and increase the value this one makes your material look so shiny just like a shiny plastic so if you like you can just adjust the value here and moreover everything looks same so next we're going to talk about special mat so in special mat we have four different types of uh, materials the first one is a gold so obviously if you're modeling a hot surface modeling sometimes you require a gold material to apply to your model it may be for a gun or you're just uh, modeling a skull and if you want to apply a gold material to it you can just stay it. so gold is essential for hot surface modeling and especially for concept art so that is the reason so i click on this model and just click on generate you don't really worry about the textures because this texture apply evenly to your model no matter how complex it looks so we don't really worry about UV and wrapping and we have we offer gold copper aluminium and silver so each materials are having a good quality of texture it's just not like adjusting the metallic roughness but more than that it had imperfections and you can when I zoom in you can see the texture looks real and I love it in here I fucking love it so next we have a wood material so the reason we are adding a wood material is because some of them would modeling a gun so they require a wood material for that and it's also complex because wood material requires a uh, UV and wrapping this wood materials offer a realistic texture of a wood and also if you are just the uh, adding the floor instead of just a plain a uh, solid color or static color you can just add this wood material to the floor so that's what creates some interesting and if you're working in a concept art, sometimes you require the wood material. So, so that is the reason we added this wood material. And we offer three, type, three different types of wood. So we have default wood and we have dark wood and we have a light wood. If you need a wood materials and you're worrying about UV and wrapping, you don't really have to. So it does not matter how complex your model looks, this texture will apply evenly without any uh, stretching or distortion. And next up, we have a glass. So, glass is obviously, if you're modeling hot surface modeling, glass are essential for windows, for glass, and for uh, certainly for many things, glass are necessary. So, that is the reason we had a glass. We also offer a premium materials like window glass and blur glass. So, if you would like to use a realistic and more realistic, obviously, all the texture are realistic, but if you want to add the real more realistic feel you can just add this pre-made materials or if you want the customizable and you want the color and if you want to adjust the colors you can just also do that let's say i'm gonna choosing a glass like a something a reddish color and if i click on generate it will add a realistic glass based on real world calculation we add this glass material so it would be more realistic comparing to the other materials you see on the internet and we have an option called glass blur if you want a glass to be blur and less reflective you can just slide this value up a bit so this is what creates some blurriness to your glass so that is a good option so and next up we have emission 
emissions are also needed if you're modeling a spaceship or a sci-fi weapon and if you add some small level of lights to your model then emissions are required come to this emission tab and you can just choose the color and you can click you can generate and if you feel that the emission is too strong the maximum value is to set to 5 because that's more than enough but if you want your strength to be like reduced and it's you feels like it's overly uh, it's having more strength you can just adjust the size from here so I don't really require to go to the shading tab and just finding the node and adjusting the value all the options are available in this panel and next up we have a rubber so like the all materials you have a base color you can choose the color of your rubber materials and you can go or you want the realistic pre-made material you can just click on this rubber type and just normal so when I zoomed in, you'll see how good the texture is. So let me just zoom in and I'll show you how it looks. So you can see that the textures all looks realistic. It's just not adding some colors and some roughness, but it also adds some texture to your model. So these textures are realistic and having high quality. So that is a simple explanation of this add-on. So when you're modeling, you don't really have to worry about uh, UV interrupting and our node setup. We just want to add material instantly. This is your best option. So this add-on is not going to contain like thousands of materials that are not essential. So this is specifically made for hot surface modeling. So that's all I just want to share in this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.